welcome to this new video where we are going to discuss about the new course on pump piping and its stress analysis the duration of the course is around three hours and it is developed by atul singla and anup day let us see what are the various items which are covered in this course first of all we'll look into various types of pump what is pump and common types then we'll look at npsh which is a very common thing to design a pump if there is a problem on NPSH, then how we are going to solve this? We will we'll going to we are going to discuss a few of the scenarios. Then what is cavitation and what are the major causes? How we can rectify this? So these will be discussed in first section. In second part, we will discuss about pump suction piping, pump discharge piping. What are the various components and how we can uh, complete the piping? Various configuration with respect to sizes and temperatures. We will look into that part. Then we will look at the piping layout aspects and we'll look at the piping with respect to stress uh, analysis also stress recommendations then how we can space the pumps when we are having more than two three pumps then how we are going to space it so that we can have an optimized layout then basic stress recommendations will also cover in the end of this section we are going to cover a few of the 3d model pictures site pictures so that we can completely visualize how this piping is done and how it is done at site also then in last part we are going to cover the stress analysis of pump piping where we are going to cover various inputs which will be required we are going to do the step-by-step -step modeling in Caesar so that we can understand how things are happening then best practices for pipe supporting basic recommendations for each and every support various tools which are there in Caesar so that we can uh, optimize the routing and we can uh, save some time also so we will understand various tools and palettes which are available inside the Caesar so that we can understand how we are going to do the step by step modeling various load cases we we'll look into different cases then in the end we will uh, analyze the stress and its reports so we are going to cover the whole concept in this course and this is going to be a very informative session so I'm sure you are going to add some value in your knowledge so let us see how it goes